All right, welcome, welcome to our... Oh, I don't really like how I wrote Plymouth, so I'm going to change this up a little bit. And I need to refocus the screen because it's looking a little awkward. So Plymouth... Doo -doo. All right, Plymouth. Okay, so now we're talking about Plymouth um, and the settlement of it. Um, Plymouth was settled, um, was founded mainly due to, was settled for uh, religious reasons. So, sorry guys, I'm digging around trying to find what I want to write with. Um, settled for religious reasons. It was settled by um, Puritans and Separatists or as we more commonly know them as Pilgrims. Okay. That's important for you to know that they are. It was settled for religious reasons by Puritans, separatists, or pilgrims. Okay. <clears throat> now, I want you to think of what year was Plymouth settled? I'm going to give you a second. Uh, not what year, what year was it settled? Um, on the way over, the separatists, uh, the pilgrims, on their boat, on their way to um, Plymouth Rock, where they settled, uh, this group they decide to come up with a form of government. They come up with a form of government. What was the document called that they drew up? What was it called? Give me five seconds. Four, three, two, one. You Mayflower Compact. What year was this? Sixteen oh seven. Jamestown Colony, 1620. Mayflower. Oh no! That's my phone telling me that it's 1120. I don't know why it's going off at 1120. That seems weird. Uh, Mayflower Compact signed in 1620. Uh, it is signed in 1620, and this document becomes very, very important because it sets up how they're going to establish their government in the New World. Part of that is they vow that they're going to set up what is known as a civil body politic. Civil body politic, which basically means for the general good, of the people. It's a form of government. Ah, it doesn't fit. Okay, government. That's, that's government. Okay. All of this together, though, refers to self-government. It's basically a fancy way of saying self-government, which means they're, gonna tr they're going to govern themselves. Okay, so not only does the Mayflower Compact of 1620 establish self-government or civil body politic, but it also establishes majority rule. Um, and if you had siblings or know someone in my class last year, if you to ask, if you're like, hey, do you know that phrase, like, Mayflower Compact, show some love, they will probably be able to complete the sentence for you. Um, a little way to remember this, Mayflower Compact, show some love, majority rule, and self gov Boom. You see, Miss, Miss Puck is so cool. I abbreviate. What? That's the haps. And by haps, I mean happenings. Um, Mayflower Compact shows some love. You got majority rule and self-gov. Um, 
that is basically what you need. Those are the really the need to know issues uh, with Plymouth. You need to know it's settled by Puritans and Separatists for religious reasons. Uh, this happened in 1620. It set up a civil body politic, also known as self government, and it also established majority rule. So this is kind of a separate thing. So this, a big like little thing around it. This goes together. Okay, civil body politic is a fancy way of saying self government. Okay, other than that, study your hot dates. Study your hot date your warm-ups, and your notes. That's all this information. Good luck, good luck to you on your test.